It is an honor to be with Maxine Ryan, founder of Spark, blockchain-based payments transfer company based here in Hong Kong. Thank you very much, Ryan, for being with us. Thanks for having me. So you have seen Hong Kong change and evolve to a smart city. What's your view on this? Yeah, you know, growing up in Hong Kong, I have seen, you know, my hometown being a competitor in the space. And I think that a smart city future is where Hong Kong should be heading. Um, but in saying that, I think that Hong Kong could do more to be on the international stage. Um, by being a smart city, you see places like Singapore that are almost completely cashless and also China as well. And I'd really love to see that here. Um, being in cryptocurrency in the space that I'm in, you do see that it is difficult for people here to become fully cashless because they can't actually get their money into the financial system, right? Even if it's using um, cryptocurrencies or anything like that. And it's really about those cash in, cash out points that we really seek to try to solve. So last year you have raised about 1.4 million through a token sale. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, sure. So Spark launched a token sale called Zephyr. And essentially how it works is that it is a token sale or a token, uh, a rewards token for our customers who use our platform. A lot of people who use our platforms, they typically don't have a bank account. They're, they're looking to send money overseas. And to have um, an additional income or to be rewarded for doing that means a lot to them. So really I see Zephyr as a additional revenue stream almost for doing something that people do every single day. And you often compare your startup journey with an MBA. Yeah. So what have you learned so far? Uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, it's been a four-year journey because we started in 2014. And I would say it's more about all the people that you meet, all the milestones that you achieve with your whole team. And you make mistakes, you constantly make mistakes, but I think that's kind of the best part about it. I think that if you're closed away from doing real things, you lose those real life opportunities that you know might cost you a lot or that might be an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I just don't think that you know studying an MBA, it might give you the tools, but not the experience. And I think having, or like being an entrepreneur gives you both. It gives you the tools, it gives you the experience and you can you know make money from it or just, whatever. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. And uh, what is your startup passion? Yeah, my startup passion is really about providing financial services to people. And it's about providing financial services to everybody and not just, you know, a small group of people. And a lot of that is about providing alternative financial tech. Um, for us specifically, we use cryptocurrencies. Um, I would say that we're a end-to-end -end financial stack uh, built on the blockchain for everybody. Thank you. That is very exciting. Thank you very much.